Hello, everyone. Hi, everybody. We are here with Paige, mm -hmm. and she has got a story. She called me this week and had <laughs> something happen to her, and she said I got to. She just wanted to share it and <laughs> let you all be involved in what took place. So the name of our devotion tonight is called Off the Cuff. Oh. <laughs> it has to do with handcuffs. <laughs> so Paige, now. Cat or um, <laughs> yes, Jasmine. When I say off the cuff, you know, mm. I just look to see what it really meant. Tell us what it means. Yes, well, it's what unplanned, it's unrehearsed, and you gotta be ready for anything. But it comes from an old well, it's a saying that actually, way back in the day, when people were gonna go to give speeches so that they wouldn't forget, they would write their notes on the cuff of their dress shirts, uh, which I had no idea. That's very interesting. It's like a, a cheat note or something. Yes. <laughs> well. <laughs> So, Paige, I want you to tell us what happened. You don't want somebody to put something on you that holds you oh, captive. No. And that's really what happened. Tell us all about it. So, my niece, Desire, she's three years, three or four years old, and she put handcuffs on me, and we bought them from a yard sale. My mom said, no, don't. And there was three kids and one pair of handcuffs, and when they ended up in the car and then home. And um, so... My little niece Desire put them on me, and um, we forgot that we didn't have a key, and it oh. didn't have a latch. It didn't have a latch to it like Walmart or Dollar Tree oh. <laughs> handcuffs. So I was stuck, and my mom call, had to call the fire department. Well, not the fire department, the police department. Oh, and no. They, they couldn't get it um, undone because it wasn't their part of the key. So the firemen oh. had to come out and... Um, get them off with big pliers wow well <laughs> tell us what was going on in your mind because i mean you went to the police department yeah. they couldn't help you you went to the fire department so tell us <laughs> they're connected did, oh they're connected right now <laughs> yeah. uh-oh oh. <laughs> i hope we have a key yes no, no, no. okay so the so, fire department and the police station is connected oh that they're okay. connected i thought okay. she meant this is Me connected because i accidentally <laughs> closed it so um did that make you a kind of scared inside yeah. Oh, yeah and i had marks for a few hours after they oh. were on you had marks mm -hmm. wow and <laughs> what happened when did they use big pliers yes wow but at least um they at least i only had a finger of space left at least it wasn't as tight really tight where i couldn't like that's good but get, still get scary yeah <laughs> absolutely i was really nervous <laughs> So we're going to talk about... And then they asked us if we wanted the <laughs> other side to try the yellow hand. Oh. And you didn't want to do that, did you? No, no, oh, no. So she's really careful and cautious yes. when it comes to handcuffs. Um, so what are some things that the enemy tries to put on you? Oh, it could be oh, fear. Gosh. Yeah, worry. It could be any sort of addiction to something that you try to do to fill a void or a hole. It could be a monetary thing, relationships, all, all kinds of things in our life. So you really got to be ready, you know, even for the enemy, because, yes. you know, uh, there was a young man that was telling us about he had he, he was going through uh, rehab mm -hmm. and doing so well, not doing drugs. Mm -hmm. And he went he got a job and one of the supervisors gave him some drugs and it oh, just took him. It, it was like putting that handcuff back on yes, you. Yes. And so then it took a little while. And but then, he, wow. you know, he's walking straight again. Oh, wow. But the enemy will try to put stuff on you. And That's so you right. got to be pre you got to be prepared mm. um, because off the cuff is, you know, you're you're ready for anything. You're you're well, like the word says, first Peter five and yes. eight. To be sober and be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, is walks about like a lion, seeking whom he may devour. So the Bible mm -hmm. says to resist him. Yes. So even yes. there's some things that maybe you feel held, that you're held mm -hmm. captive by. You can't let him put it on you. That's right. And I'm telling you, God is the one that has the key. Oh, where yes, you had no key. But when you bring it to the Lord, mm -hmm. he has that key. And so, you know what he wants to do? He wants to even use, God wants to use the very things the enemy tried to destroy you with mm -hmm. and hold you captive with, that you can bring other other people out that have that have been held captive That's as well right. and so I think about this you know you, you got to be instant in season the mm. Bible talks about preach the word be instant in yes. season and out of season reprove rebuke exhort with all long suffering and so he's saying be ready for anything yes and stay prepared so um, you got to be ready to do what God's called you to do at any time even when it's inconvenient yes uncomfortable unexpected yeah. so yes. Jasmine I want you to, to minister right now and yes. tell us that I mean if when you find yourself in that situation and you feel help like you're just going to be like mm. Paige. You felt you were going to be just locked up from here on out, right? Yeah. So 
what give us some uh, encouragement yes. to, to tell us what to do well, when we get in that situation it will like debbie was saying it's always it's no matter how well and hard you're trying to live your life for god and to walk with his spirit the enemy's still going to come at you no matter what in all walks of life and when that happens how you do resist them it's you go closer to god through his word and through prayer with him you seek him out you call upon his That's name right. you read his word you get his word in your heart so when those attacks do come you are prepared so when it is off the cuff and it's not a good time for you to have to deal with an attack from the enemy you are prepared because right. you know what his word says about you about your situation you know that he's got it under control and the only god can handle the situation but we do have to be prepared by knowing what his word says and by calling on him to help us in our time of need that's right another thing is this is that when someone begins to speak doubt or fear over mm. you and is negative what do you do in that situation yeah first i would uh, you would say i don't receive that i don't you know i'm, I'm not gonna that's right it does not it will lock you up and get right. you caught up if you allow it to but you do have a choice you can't you can't you know help what people say to you because you can help what you allow get in your spirit that's and right. so when that happens it's like no that's not what the lord says about me that's not what his word says so i will not receive that that's right and in fact here's what it does say about me <laughs> that's right and he that the son is set free he is, is free, free indeed, indeed. page yes. what is your words of wisdom for even other children that are messing yes. with uh, handcuffs <laughs> Don't mess with handcuffs that you don't have a key. And they don't have a lot. <laughs> that's right. That's don't right. Go out. <laughs> Jasmine, lead us in prayer yes. today. Father, we thank you so much, God, that we can grow closer to you every day. God, that you are as close as yes. the mention of your name. Father, when we feel the bondage coming on us from the yes. enemy, as he so likes to do, God, I pray that you would just help us to know that we don't have to be bound, that we can be free. We can have life in you when we choose to live for you. So, God, I pray yes, that you Jesus. would just step into the situation yes, of those Jesus. who might feel bound up, who feel like there is no way out. There's no help that they just can't get out from under it. Father, and let them, let them feel your peace. Let them just know the joy that can happen when they release it all to you, God, and that they can experience true freedom and walk in your light and love. We love you and we give you all the praise and the glory for it. And it's in your name. Amen. 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 Well, thank you, Paige, for yes. sharing your story, your incident this week. <laughs> God loves you today. We love you and have a great rest of your day. All right. Bye-bye.